guys, what is up? Shark here, and welcome back for some more Evil Within. When last we left, we had just entered these sewers, and uh, Joseph died, and Leslie was running away from Kidman because she was about to shoot him. All hell broke loose, basically, is what I'm saying right now. And we are about to get up in it. We're about to get fucking right up in that... Right up in that hell. Uh, but yeah, we're in the sewers right now, chasing down a weird, unknown enemy. Except for, I already know him, but... <laughs> a weird, unknown enemy that we haven't seen yet. He's only been taking enemies away from us. And initially, when I played this game my first time, I actually thought it might be a good guy, because he kept taking, like, enemies we were about to fight. But it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in this little location. I love the green ooze that just keeps dripping down. This guy's gonna break off. I wonder if I can burn him as soon. No, okay. Can't burn him when they hit the ground. I can shoot them, however. Oh my god, I didn't even know he was there. But I would like it if he was not there. Perhaps, you know, like, went away and... I don't know, ran. Okay, so both those guys were dead. I just wasted a match, but... I've got enough. I've got enough matches to last me for a while. So there's at least one guy up there. I think I might snipe him. If he'll move more. Not weirdly. Okay, well, he's dead. <laughs> I, I might snipe this guy as well. I don't know if that'll kill him while he's hanging there, but... If nothing else, it will hurt him. It did kill him. Good. Good, good, good. And there's another alter ego. I don't know where these ones are coming from. Like, I didn't even see him. Oh, I missed. Fuck. Oh, wow. Even a body shot kills him. This sniper is more powerful than I thought it was. I'm going to have to remember to switch out my magnum, though. And things are now moving. Oh, my God. The electric. It's not doing its work anymore. The electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. You've got no head now. The electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm so clever. My god, I'm clever. It's insane how clever I am. Ridiculous. Oh, that one has pants. A civilized alter ego, eh? Probably the majority of them have pants, I just haven't noticed. No, he doesn't have pants. I like you. I like you, kid. You've got... You've got a future. Or at least you used to. I don't know about now. <laughs> Maybe not now, but... At one point in time. Oh, shit! Where the fuck? I didn't even know you were there. Did I not just look back there? I guess I didn't look on that side. This one's got a... That one's even got a shirt. Oh my god, I'm starting to feel bad. I'm starting to feel really bad that I'm killing these guys. What with their shirts and pants? My god, they're so cute with them. They look like little kittens with sweaters. Fuck's sake, you're not dead? Okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe I don't like you as much as I thought. Maybe you're not as nice as I initially thought. Are you not dead as well? Are you somebody I've shot in the past? I don't know. You're not dead. You're kidding me. Fine. Burn. See if I care. Take all my ammo. I don't even care. I don't even need it. Just kill everything with my bare fists or something. Hiya. Beat him to death with my crossbow. That's right. Fucking around too much. Fucking around too much. I almost got that guy to hit me because I was in the animation of... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I wonder how much smack, like, kicking them on the ground actually does. If they were actually downed and not dead. Because every time I've kicked an enemy on the ground, he's been dead. Alright. So this little area... You can see there's drool dripping from up there. And there's our first look at the quell. 
No, don't just sit there and try to grab me, you dick. How dare you, good sir. I need some ammo for some stuff, though. I am a little bit low on pretty much everything right now. Can I take another one of those bolts? I think I can. Yes. Yes, I can. Indeed. Indubitably. Oh, I, I need to fucking take a, a syringe. I'm really low, actually. I wasn't even paying attention. God, I love it that my syringes do so much for me right now. Alright. A little bit more gel. And some matches that I've actually been using. Back. Pat on the back for me. Was that the only place that the quell could look? Apparently. Did I... I could have sworn there was a lot more, like, locations the quell could have been hiding and wait for us. Maybe that's in higher difficulties. He hides in more places. I don't know. Map Fragment 27. Very well hidden. Very, very well hidden. With Tatiana being gone, this is going to be a kind of a, a quiet little location now. That's going to suck. Uh, I much prefer Tatiana in the second game. In this game, she's kind of played as creepy. In that game, she's played more... Uh, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, deadpan, I guess. Like, just emotionless. Which makes it really funny whenever she, uh, does... Take some stuff out of these lockers. Makes it really funny in, like, sections... I'm thinking specifically... If you get all the upgrades from the board that they have there... Uh, she'll, like, put on a little party hat. And she'll blow a whistle. And that's pretty funny. I like that. I like that section. But she's played kind of more comedically in that game than she is in this one. A little bit more lighthearted, I guess. Okay. So can I reload the shotgun? Because I'm getting a lot of shotgun bullets right now. For some reason, I think they might want me to use it. I'm not positive. <laughs> Alright, so... Shit. This is dead. All this stuff needs to be fixed. What is? Th I think that one goes there. This one goes there. No, it can't be that. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> Damn it! What am I, an electrician? Uh, reset the parts. It doesn't seem like any of those go anywhere. I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Reset the parts. Maybe if I put like this one there. I think it unlocks a door maybe. I have no idea what I'm doing. I do not remember. I know this is not a difficult puzzle. I'm making it harder than it should be. Oh, okay. There's the other piece. Alright. So, I should be able to do something with this now. I think this one goes here. Can I, like... Switch these around? Because I want that to go... Like there, maybe? Oh, okay. I think I see it. There we go. It was throwing me off because that one has like a sideways little thing. But I think that should be good. Hopefully. Let's restart this generator real quick.
All right, so now we have to deal with the Quell. So the Quell is kind of a difficult boss fight. Uh, probably one of the more difficult ones, in my opinion. Because he's so... He's very quick. He likes to do shit like that. Oh, did I hit him? I think I did. Okay. So far, so good. And he's got little squid enemies as well. Actually, they're like leeches, I guess. Kind of similar to what they had in... Um, what Armageddon had, or whatever his name is. Alright, so he's over there. Fuck these leeches. I'm gonna have to take Syringe real quick. And hopefully I can get a shot off on him. Okay, got him. I need to craft some more harpoon bolts. And switch to the harpoon bolt. So I think he's around here somewhere. He can be invisible, so it's a little bit difficult to see him at times. Usually your best bet is to follow the trail of where these things are coming from. I see him. Because he, like, he has camouflage or something. But it's not that difficult to bypass it. If you know what you're looking for. Man, I can't... I can't charge my shot. I probably should have upped the charge rate. If I survive this, that's what I'll do. He's so fast. It's, it's hard to kind of gauge what you should be doing at any given time because he's so quick. All right, so he just crawled up there. I'm going to go ahead and take another syringe. And hopefully I can find him before I get hit by those things that just hit me. I just fucking missed. Let's see if I can get a quick, sc oh, quick scope on him. Aha! Gotcha, bitch. All right. I'm assuming... Yeah, okay. He's over here now. So, for some reason, I was thinking you could, like, just step on those and it would work out well for you. But, <laughs> as of yet, it has not been working out well for me. But, I think that is the end. Okay! Fuck me. That is not the end of the quell. How about now? Aha! Gotcha. You quell bastard. And his blood trail leads up there. I don't <laughs> I don't know what that is. But yeah, that that's probably my favorite boss fight in the game. Or at least it's my favorite boss aesthetically. Aesthetically, that means like visually, right? Probably my favorite boss visually. I really like the way he looks. I like I like how he moves. I think it's a really interesting boss fight. He, he hides. He's got camouflage. I like him a lot. He's a pretty cool one. Alright. So let's go ahead and charge this now. Oh, and something I wanted to mention before I forget. Uh, at the very start of the quell fight, like when he grabs you from the wall, Sebastian pulls out a gun that he, de he doesn't ever technically have. And I remember people were complaining about it. Or they were just... I don't remember if they were complaining or just pointing it out. Like when the game first came out. But it's pretty interesting. Nonetheless. Because he, ha he has like a revolver. He pulls out some kind of actual like uh, gun. Like pistol. But he has a revolver I believe in this game. The entire game. And he pulls out a gun like he has in The Evil Within 2. Alright, so let's run back here and get some shotgun bullets, hopefully. Uh, actually, I didn't even fire any, so let's not do that. That'd be a waste of time. And let's just go up the elevator. I think that's actually technically the last new boss fight we have until the very end. And I mean, I liked it. I like it. There's there's some cool enemies in this in this game. 
I can't say that I hate a single one of the enemies. The only one that I'm really kind of iffy on is the Sadist. And that's just because I, I know he's a reskin of... Or an homage, I guess, if you want to call it that, to... Uh, Dr. Salvador from the Resident Evil 4. So he's just not exciting to me, because I feel like the chainsaw enemy is overused in horror games now. But... Still, I don't technically hate him, I guess. I just don't... I don't care about him. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not excited. I'm indifferent to his inclusion in the game, I guess. Alright, so we are now on the subway that... Or the train, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. What a painful way to go. What a painful way to go. You... Ugh, this is the... Not a message that I really want to get right now. On a precariously positioned train. Do I not climb over this? Why am I not... What? Oh, did that hit behind me, maybe? It must have. You will... Ugh. <laughs> so carefully walking on this very precariously positioned train. You will suffer. Alright, so that's a really cool, like, little little segment right there. I really like that segment. Like, it's a really interesting way to deliver a message to us. It shows just how powerful he truly is in this world. He's throwing fucking metal beams through a metal butt, or a metal, uh, subway bus. It's just, it's ridiculous. I love it. That's a really cool, cool section right there. You've published my research in your name again. Did you think I wouldn't find out? And I have done you a favor. You have no credentials. You'd never appear in a reputable journal otherwise. Nobody in the world knows you even exist. Oh, but they will know. I have surpassed you in every way you can imagine. No matter. I have what I need. All that's left is the procedure. Indeed. That is why we are here. We? You wouldn't dare. You couldn't complete it without me. Precisely. So there we get the backstory of Jimenez's betrayal of Ruben. Trying to make me feel sorry for you. I mean, their relationship was kind of not very good to begin with. But the way Jimenez ended it... So, Jimenez is technically a villain as well. I would class... Personally, I'd classify him as a villain. He's not as bad as Ruvik, but... <laughs> he's still a dick. Uh, I want to switch to my grenades and see if I can just... Demolish them with grenades, hopefully. Okay. Did I get any of them, hopefully? Take out his thing. No, take out his thing. Okay. Did I get it? Okay, I did. I got that one. Uh, hopefully that'll get that one. And I can remove his head... Whatever. <laughs> head dressing. And one left. Pop cap in his head. Pop cap in his head. Pop cap in his... No! No! No, you fast bastard. Miss him completely. Chest shot, chest shot, chest shot, chest shot. You are just a chest. You are good at taking these bullets to the chest, man. I commend you, zombie.
And that is the end of chapter 14 right there. So, we have one chapter left. Uh, let's see what time's looking like here real quick. Okay, we can get started into this next chapter. I think it's one chapter. I don't remember if they split it up into two, but... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started into the next one. So there was a weird little section. Uh, we apparently just shot ourselves. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to signify. Obviously, Kidman was standing over us. We don't really know why. We don't really understand what's happening still. But Tatiana is still missing. Nobody here at all. She hasn't been here for like two episodes, man. Internal Affairs Interview Transcript, March 13th, 2013. So I think everything's been either 2012 or below so far, but 2013 now. Uh, you know why you're here, Detective Castellanos. Because you people aren't doing your job. You've been, you've been pursuing an unauthorized investigation and using KCPD resources to do so. In addition, there are reports of threat, threats, intimidation, and physical violence. If you had any proof of those allegations, you'd be taking my badge and gun right now. You, you've you obviously been very careful, otherwise we would have. But we're watching you. You're not the only ones. What's that supposed to mean? Keep following me. You'll find out soon enough. You keep drinking like you do, and we won't have to. I've got work to do. Are we finished here? For now. But you're on thin ice, Castellanos. If you've got even one more report, you're through. I'll be through when it's over. Detective Castellanos leaves interview room. So there is yet a little bit more backstory with Detective Castellanos, a.k.a. Sebastian. And we now have this. Missing woman. Missing. Short brown hair, brown eyes. Response to nickname, star. <laughs> uh, okay, so they've completely blurred out her name right here. I don't know if we actually zoomed in on that, if we could see it. I can't. I can't make it out. But they completely scratched out her name. That is Myra. Losing or not mind. fucking Myra. What the fuck's her name? Losing our mind. Leslie! This way. Kidman. That's who it is. That is Kidman. It kind of gives us information about uh, what's happening to her. Or what. That she's more mysterious than we initially knew. Hey, wait. But right now we are following Leslie as he quickly runs away. I want to read that note. Prohibited zone. From this point forward, only select individuals may pass. Those without permission are asked to leave and co and contact the head office. Interesting. I have no authorization. I'm coming through anyway. My name's Detective Sebastian Castellanos, and I don't give a fuck. I don't give fuck your rules. Fuck your rules, Beacon. What are you going to do about it? You know who I am? Where are you taking me? The name's Seb. And I don't fuck around. Whoa! Earthquake! Sprinklers! Oh my god! Chaos! 
chaos is ensuing. I don't really know what these locations mean. I'd assume it has something to do with STEM. But I could be wrong on that. Come here, Leslie. This Would you way, quit running? To come down. We have important matters to discuss. This way, this way. This way. I'm coming. Beacon, just like Joseph said. Well, I think it might be safe to assume that we have lost Leslie. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. It's questionable. Certainly questionable. Oh, fuck, we didn't. He's still just taunting us. With his fucking ridiculous speed he apparently has. Come on, Sebastian. I know you've got to use your stupid legs, but... You're still slow. Oh, Leslie. I knew it. Right back to where it all began. I remember you. You were dead. Wait a minute. I remember there was a dead body here and it slouched over and it completely scared me. Not real. This is not real. And there was a dead receptionist right here and she was losing blood. My god. These developers are pathetic. Actually, I wonder if that's her and they just dragged her back here for some reason. Or maybe that's her. She fell over. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. That looks like it's just an enemy. Oh, no. He's got a white suit on. Cool. Cool beans. <laughs> All right. So this is where we... The very first chapter, this is where we were. We can now go in this room. It is very reminiscent of Rubik's little room where we mess with the brain. Mess with the brain for that one puzzle. But we can now go back here and explore a little bit more. We're kind of reliving uh, old areas now. Kick that door open real quick. And head down this way. <laughs> Look at how Sebastian takes no fall damage whatsoever. He's got bionic sense. legs, apparently. Every severed nerve. Every tug of flesh pulled away from my bones until absolute darkness overtook me. Darkness and pain. A thousand other sensations as they probed my cerebrum, examined my work. An eternity of intensity. Pain. Pleasure. Rage, ecstasy, blending together into a single piercing noise until the darkness was broken by sparks, like twinkling starlight. The pain, the noise, the light blends together, takes shape. It's a place I know so well. My prison, my home. Brought this All right. Yourself. The they used on me so there's another recording of Ruvik. Uh, I just wanted to restart it so I could make sure that I got it for the files or whatever. But there we go. We have several things now. And we can now exit this area, I believe. Maybe. Oh, we fell out. Oh. 
What? I actually don't remember coming back to this place. Huh. So up there is where we fell down from the sadist and fell into that pool of blood. I don't even remember actually going back to this place. Like, I remember coming back to this sewer. I don't remember going back to the vat of blood. I mean, it makes sense that we do, but I just don't remember it. And now there are some items down here for us. And Leslie, oh my god. Looks like you have dark hair right now. Oh, we don't get to go through the water. What kind of jip is that? Oh, another note. Newer note from the sewer. Do you still dream of escape? So near at hand. What is the point of dreaming when your body lies here, never moving? R. R. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him with it two times in a row. Oh yeah. So there are now items in this little area. Uh, okay, there's one item. <laughs> but trap bolts, trap, trap parts are still good. I wonder if I can go into the water. Oh, I can. Uh, I don't think there's anything actually down here. I just wanted to see if I could. And if you remember all the way back in the first episode, actually, I'm going to check this room real quick. Okay, I'm not going to check that room real quick because it is blocked off. But I said they had chains on these things that we could actually punch through. And now that we are here in the last chapter, or one of the last chapters, we can actually punch through it. For some reason. <laughs> For some reason, Sebastian has completely fixed himself. Now we can punch through things again. Thank God. Thank God he's retained that ability. Alright, so I think there's a collectible back here. Somewhere. Might be over here. Or I could be completely wrong. And there could be nothing. It's looking like it might be that one. Is there no collectible back here? I thought for sure there was like a map fragment. Huh. I guess not. I guess I am wrong. All there is is more trap parts. Or was that what I got? I think. I don't remember. It's been so long ago since I've been back there. But we now can go. Uh, I wonder if we can go in this area and go where we went initially. Oh, the ladder's gone. For some reason. Can't even look up there. But that's where we climbed the ladder back up to Beacon initially. It's gone now. But we can head this way. And there is a strange symbol on that door that I didn't... An interesting little symbol right there. I don't recognize it at all. I don't think it's been around this game quite yet. So many doors to kick through, so little time. Take that door. Leslie. Go there. No! So you can hear Leslie screaming up there. Something is happening. We must rush to his aid. Uh, I don't remember which door it is. I think that one leads me... No, okay. This one is a secondary door, I think. Which leads me just to another area where I can get a collectible. By the time I realized Jimenez had betrayed me, it was too late. I was so close. He knew it. He knew that I was too focused to notice when he brought those men. They'd never gotten past my traps otherwise. Their device is a perversion of my own. The device I should have created. My data. My equipment, my theories, my mind. They replaced my husk of a body with a new dimension of torment. All right, so there's yet another little thing. And he's talking still about his device or what he created and this other people stole. And we're going to keep going right now. We are way past time, but I do want to get up at least to the courtyard, hopefully. I'm not sure at what point we get there, but I would think it would be soon. Not positive, not positive. But we have a long elevator ride right here. Really interesting. 
some nice bricks to look at. I think this is the one that takes us all the way to the top and we have a little cutscene first. Could be wrong. Alright, so they masked the cutscene right there with an elevator ride. Cool enough. Cool enough. Oh, okay. This is the courtyard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and search the courtyard real quick. Or just down here, really. And then I'll probably end the episode. There is a collectible down here. I'm pretty sure it's a map fragment. As you know, though, my map fragment tracking skills are... Uh, subpar. <laughs> pretty subpar. But there is one right here. 28. And a lot of green gel. We can actually almost buy... The burning bolt. I may... I may open a few lockers, get some more green gel, and buy it. Because we are at the end of the game. And it is probably my favorite weapon. As you can tell, I've been using it a lot. I mean, the trap parts... The trap parts for harpoon bolts are just so cheap. There's really no use... Or there's really no uh, reason you shouldn't be using them. Alright. So, I think I'm going to end the episode right here, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. When we come back... I will probably try to complete the game next episode if I can. Uh, this one ran on quite a long ways. I'm not positive how much is left of the game. I don't feel like it's that much, but I've been wrong in the past. <laughs> Alright, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.